Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your monthly reading for July 2022. So this is for the first half of July, July 1st to the 15th. So Aquarius, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest the first half of July. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or well, this present reading could be past energy for you. Aquarius, if this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So Aquarius, I did get messages for you during a pre-shuffle. And the messages that I got was um was like a warning. Something was like a warning, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, I don't know if spirit is warning you or warning somebody else about you. So Aquarius, I picked up that it could be a child or somebody that's childlike. I don't know if this is somebody with a disability or this person could be like an empath or earth angel or something like that. This is either literally a child or someone that's very childlike. Um, yeah, or something like that. So... Aquarius, I don't know if you could have been under underestimating somebody or um, you could have been, I don't know. You or somebody else was underestimating a child or like an earth angel, somebody that's childlike. Um, or I also just heard too, it could have been somebody with a disability. Um, and I think for the first half of July, spirit is going to defend someone. That's who, that's either a child, childlike. Or somebody that's like defenseless. This person could have a disability or something. Or a handicap. Um, but spirit is defending someone. Against somebody else. So Aquarius. I kind of picked up that you should be careful. Because you was the one doing this to somebody. But it still could be the other way around. But I'll just see how the reading go. I'll see how the reading go. But that was the message that I got. So. Aquarius, I'm I'm gonna put three cards for you, like the the main cards. So I'm gonna pull your message from the stars. I'm gonna pull your overall energy from the sacred destinies deck. And um, for the first half of July for the monthly readings, I'm doing this deck right here. This deck I'm pulling on is to pull on dark energy or a karmic energy that Aquarius spirit wants you to be aware of or beware of or be aware of. Aquarius, this dark energy could be kind of coming from you or somebody else. But it's just dark energy to be aware of. I also got a message from this deck when I was handling this, handling this deck too. And Spirit told me to shuffle this deck very good, Aquarius, in, in your energy. I was told to shuffle this deck very good. And Aquarius, I also heard that don't take this, whatever card come out for you, Aquarius, don't take it lightly. That's what I heard. So I'm just um, telling you the messages. I heard Aquarius do not take your, do not take this card lightly. Whether this dark energy is you or somebody else, don't take it lightly. So let me just go ahead with the reading. So I'm going to do your message from the stars first. What's Aquarius message from the stars? Aquarius, I also heard too. <coughs> Again, for some of y'all Aquarius, I heard that spirit is trying to get you to stop doing something because spirit wants you to avoid karma, Aquarius. So Aquarius, I don't know if you could be mistreating somebody and spirit is trying to warn you to stop because spirit don't want to give you karma. I heard that spirit do not want to do this to you. So I don't know exactly what you're doing, Aquarius, but you should stop. All right, so... So Aquarius, I don't know if you're abusing your child or you work with youth or you work with handicapped children or something. And you could be doing something, Aquarius, that only spirit know you're doing and spirit is telling you to stop. Because the first half of July, Aquarius, uh, spirit is defending somebody. So it's like Aquarius, spirit saying, if you put me in a position, I don't want you doing this to this person no more, Aquarius. So, if you keep doing it, Aquarius, I'm going to have to defend this person. And, Aquarius, you're going to get the short end of the stick. You're going to get karma or something. 
All right, so what's Aquarius message from the stars? All right, it say trust in your new path. All will work out for you. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, this is what the stars want you to know. Trust in your new path. All will work out for you. All right, so let me put on your overall energy. What's Aquarius' overall energy for the first half? Mm-mm. What's the um what's Aquarius overall energy? What's prominent Aquarius energy? All right, we have focus. So Aquarius, you're gonna be very focused uh the first half of July. And um that's right up right up your alley, Aquarius. Um, like the I'm I'm seeing the Queen and the King of Swords. The Queen and the King of Swords is very focused. So Aquarius, you're in your element, that king and queen of swords energy. You're very focused. That's your overall energy. You're going to be very focused. To the point, cut, throw, and to the point. All right. So, what's this dark energy that spirit want Aquarius to be aware of? Whether it's Aquarius or somebody else. What's the dark energy spirit want Aquarius to be aware of or be aware of? All right. So we have sacrifice. It came out in reverse. I don't know if I want to read this in reverse or not. So Aquarius, um, what I'm picking up intuitively, Aquarius, is um. Aquarius, you probably don't want to forgive somebody because this came out in reverse. So Aquarius, this could be somebody else's dark energy, but this person is not in that dark energy no more because it came out in reverse. So Aquarius, you could still be like judging somebody and this person is no longer in this energy. So, Aquarius, I'm hearing that you should not release something because something is not over. Aquarius, I don't know if you don't trust your child. You could be still, um, well, Aquarius, if you work with children or handicapped children or juveniles, Aquarius, I don't know if a child could have told a lie on you or got you in trouble at work. And you don't like this child, Aquarius. Um... Or this minor. You don't like this person. Um, but Aquarius, I'm picking up. It's somebody you shouldn't release. Or I'm hearing Aquarius don't lie on this person. Because they're no longer in this energy. Or something like that. And then we got revenge. Yeah, something like that. Going on. Aquarius, somebody going to do something to you or somebody or something happened in the past. And Aquarius, I think you want revenge. But spirit is... Aquarius, I think this person is a child. <laughs> or this person is like an earth angel or something. Or this person handicapped or something. Aquarius, I don't know if your child got you in trouble. Your child could have lied on you or some kids or something. Something happened with like a minor or somebody that's very childlike. But Aquarius, I heard this person is no, no longer in this energy. This could even be a maybe your lover, Aquarius. But let's see. I'm going to read it. But I think somebody is no longer in that energy. Or well, Aquarius, this is you. Somebody probably want revenge on you. But let me see number seven. Yeah, anger. Let me read it. 
Oh, God. So, whoever is in this dark energy, or whenever this person was in this dark energy, they were angry. This dark energy carries anger. And they say, even if I have to break apart, as long as it serves a purpose. So, the sentence for this energy is, I have accepted my duty, and in my release, I found freedom. Hmm. I have accepted my duty, and in my release, I found freedom. Uh, Aquarius, I don't know if you could be um, a cop or you work, you could be a, a correctional officer. And you deal with inmates or something? Aquarius, I think somebody, this could be an inmate or something. Aquarius, you should be careful. Aquarius, say like you a CO and you dealing with inmates. And this particular inmate, they was in prison five years ago. And they were guilty. It's like, Aquarius, you might run into the same inmate the first half of July. But Aquarius, I think this time, this person is locked up, but they're innocent. Like, something like that is going on. Huh? But anyway, let me read it. It says, going dark. There is a strong power in sacrifice. Our fears, our hopes, they are all chains to a small world. Chains to a small world. Our sense of self is a small, petty creature of uncertain resolve and shaky horizons. With sacrifice, we renounce our sense of self. We accept to be lost. We accept to be shaken and cut and bruised and hurt and burdened and locked and stricken and despised and gossiped and betrayed and be misunderstood and be left alone to rot to die with just words of thanks while the world goes on over our broken dreams but when we drown our sense of self to sacrifice we are also a greater person we are screaming i exist i make the difference we accept a price to pay and we used our blood and tears as currency that gives us the right to stand tall <clears throat> so somebody was I'm hearing somebody was dying to belong somebody was dying to belong so much or somebody was trying to prove themselves as worthy or somebody was trying to prove a point but it was like somebody was sabotaging themselves in the past but this person is not in this energy no more so Aquarius, you should be careful of somebody of judging someone or somebody should be careful of judging you. Yeah, because somebody's not in that dark energy no more. This person is no longer angry. Aquarius, somebody could be asking for your forgiveness and you don't want to forgive them. Or Aquarius, this is you. And somebody should be careful or mindful how they treat you the first half of your life. Or Aquarius, I don't know. You could be coming out of jail. Physical jail. Or you, you coming out of a dark night of the soul or getting some type of karma. And maybe somebody should be careful of how they view you or they're judging you. Aquarius, maybe you the one getting out of jail. And somebody could be judging you. They're saying you didn't change or something. Something like that. But let's see. Let me see something. Is this sacrifice in reverse Aquarius? Is this Aquarius? Yeah. Yeah, that's you, Aquarius. So Aquarius, somebody should be careful of how they treat you because you're not the same person you used to be. Aquarius, you could have been a people pleaser in the past. And you were a people, please, people pleaser so much. You was dying to belong, Aquarius, and you could have self-sabotaged yourself. But you were angry. Aquarius, you probably wanted somebody's love that didn't give you love. Or you demanded respect from somebody that didn't want to respect you. Or you wanted somebody's love and attention or something. 
Aquarius, this could be you and your parents don't trust you. Maybe you always wanted your parents' love and affection, Aquarius, and they didn't give it to you. So you was very angry or something. But it's like, Aquarius, your parents don't trust you because of your past. But they should still be careful, Aquarius, of how they treat you or something. Because you let this dark energy go. Yeah, so. So, Aquarius, I don't know if you could have a disability or, Aquarius, you handicapped or something like that. And maybe your parents, or you felt as though your parents mistreated you because of your handicap or something. Yeah. Or Aquarius, you have gifts. You could be an empath or you're a star seed or something. Or you're like an earth angel and you was misunderstood by your parents or friends or family or something. And you became angry. You was angry because you was misunderstood or because you had a handicap or something. You, you wasn't like other people or something like that. Okay, but let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with a fire sign or you got fire in your chart. So the way the cards look at Aquarius, you're letting go of the past. Who you was in the past. You're being released or you're letting it go. In Aquarius, you're trusting in your new path. And um, you're trusting that all will work out for you. You're focused on newness. You want to go towards the future and you want to leave the past behind you, Aquarius. And somebody probably could be judging you or something. All right, we got the Knight of Pentacles. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could have earth in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah, we got the five of wands. So Aquarius, you could have earth in your chart. Are you dealing with an earth sign? Cap I mean, fire. Um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Clarify the queen of wands. Yeah, clip, let me see. Yeah, the queen of cups. Aquarius, you could be dealing with a water sign, or you got water in your chart. A Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Is this Queen of Wands Aquarius? Yeah. Aquarius, you're being protected from yourself. Or you're being protected from somebody or some people who want to start an issue with you. Or Aquarius, the first half of July. Spirit is telling you through the Knight of Pentacles to stop focusing on the past. When you had internal conflict or when you was at war with somebody, some type of conflict, competition, or Aquarius, when you had health issues. This could even be somebody with health issues. Aquarius, you're being separated from the past, the five of wands. That queen of wands, it told me it was you, Aquarius. So the Knight of Pentacles, Aquarius, is going to cause you to put a stop to you always reminiscing about the past. When somebody mistreated you, when you got into a fight, when you got sick, when your legs broke, uh, when somebody could have jumped on you, rolled on you, you was having conflict and competition with your family, your friends, your parents. The Knight of Pentacles is telling you, Aquarius, don't focus on that the first half of July. Whatever this five of wands is or was, I'm picking up it was the past. Aquarius, all spirit wants you to know that in the present, you're the queen of wands. So Aquarius, you can have Leo in your chart, don't have to. Or you got fire in your chart. This is all spirit wants you to focus on. You the queen of you the queen of wands, Aquarius. Don't focus on the past. <laughs> Aquarius, I don't know if you could have been bound to a wheelchair for years. Or Aquarius, somebody, yo, I'm picking up health. Somebody's health could be deteriorating. Or Aquarius, say like for an example in the past, 
you kept having fevers in the past you kept having fevers like high fevers and your doctor could never know what was wrong with you it was like hell aquarius this five of wands you was having some health issues and it's like aquarius the first half of july you might be bed stricken or you're going to be like in a wheelchair you're wheelchair bound and I'm hearing this is like the final stage. It's not going to get no worse than this. It's only going to get better. So Aquarius, I don't know if they finally, if your doctors finally found out what was wrong with you. And you might get an operation and you're going to be in a wheelchair for a while. Something is like over. And I'm, I heard like a wheelchair. Aquarius, you in a wheelchair. But you're glad it's over. You finally got diagnosed. Everybody know what's wrong with you. People don't have to think you crazy no more. Something was really wrong with you. So you might get a surgery or something. And I don't know if you're permanently permanently bound to this wheelchair or it's just for a while. But you're very bold and confident. In spite of your limitations or whatever this is. You're very bold and confident. Or well, Aquarius, you had to get reconstructive surgery. In Aquarius, the first half of July, you're, you've come a mighty long way concerning some surgeries. Yeah, the Queen of Wands is somebody that's very beautiful, very attractive, very handsome. So Aquarius, I don't know if you had to get surgery like to your body or to your face. Or Aquarius, you got into a fight and somebody could have jumped on you or rolled on you. And they could have did damage to your face or something. Or Aquarius, you could be looking at some pictures of the past. When you was like under surgery, you got into a fight. And Aquarius, the, the Knight of Pentacles is trying to block you from the past. The Knight of Pentacles don't want you thinking about the past. So it's like Aquarius, this could be a situation, say like you a female. And Aquarius, in the past, you got into a fight with some girls and they sliced up your face. It's like Aquarius. Your doctors and them has reconstructed your face. And you're beautiful. You're almost back to how you was before the assault happened. But it's like Aquarius, you still dwelling like on the past. When everything is all better the first half of July. Like you're healed. So the Knight of Pentacles is saying, Aquarius, let go of the five of wands. Let that go. Stop looking at them pictures. Stop going over in your mind what happened. Like let it go. You the queen of wands. Aquarius, I don't know if you feel as though you're ugly or something. <clears throat> or Aquarius, you could be fearful that you're not able to have children or something like that. Yeah, you could be afraid that you're not able to have children or something. Yeah, we got the devil at the bottom of the deck. So, Aquarius, you could have Capricorn in your chart. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Or, well, Aquarius, you're obsessing over something the first half of July. And Spirit going to put an ending to it. Because Spirit wants you to stop. So, this could be you. You're obsessed with something. You could be worried about the future. Or you're still dwelling on the past. And um, Spirit going to put an end ending to that. Or well, Aquarius, you was obsessing over revenge or something? And Spirit wants you to let that go. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Near the star. So, Aquarius, you could have Capricorn in your chart. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Because the Knight of Pentacles is Earth. Um, but anyway, Aquarius, this is you. Are you dealing with another Aquarius? Oh, boy. All right. So, Aquarius, I had to pause the video. And I asked the cards, is the Five of Wands you? Is this you in the present or in the past? And the cards told me no. So... Aquarius, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And Aquarius, I think that you're being separated from somebody.
Aquarius, you couldn't help somebody. And I think you're being separated from somebody. So Aquarius, say like the five of wands is a lover. It's like Aquarius, you can have children, but your lover can't have children. So it's like Aquarius, the first half of July, you're going to do something that's best for you. You might have to break up with this lover, Aquarius. You love this person, but Aquarius, you got to do something that's best for you so you can heal. So Aquarius, you might break up with a lover that you was at one point loyal to. But Aquarius, you can have kids. Your lover can't. So Aquarius, you might break up with somebody because you want kids. Uh, I'm giving that for an example. Or Aquarius, you could have been friends with somebody that's not as pretty as you. And Aquarius, you're not going to continue on with this five of wands and be in like in relationship with this person. And they're like jealous of you or something like that. It's like Aquarius, you can't help if you're the queen of wands. If you look better than your friend, then that's just what it is. You can't help that. Or Aquarius, you went through something in the past that somebody could be going through in the in the present. And Aquarius, you're trying to tell this person. Aquarius, you're trying to tell somebody something or give somebody advice and they don't want to take your advice. Aquarius, this could be your child. Aquarius, you could be trying to tell your child like to stop smoking or stop drinking. I'm picking up a health issue. So Aquarius, you could be telling somebody. This is could be your child, um, a friend, somebody. And Aquarius, this person could be telling you, oh, I keep having headaches. I keep getting a fever. And Aquarius, you, you telling this person, you might have what I have. Because that's what happened to me. Before I found out my diagnosis, I was always getting fevers. I was always getting a headache. And it's like, Aquarius, this person don't want to listen to you. But it's like, Aquarius, you got love for this person. And you might get separated from this person, Aquarius, who don't want to listen to you. Clarify the five of wands. <laughs> Aquarius, somebody around you could be offended by you. And Aquarius, somebody don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Because when you was like this, Aquarius, you used to be this person. You was angry. Aquarius, you was a people pleaser. Whatever you was doing in this energy, you was dying to belong. Whatever you was doing, you was like self-sabotaging yourself. But Aquarius, you not like that no more. So you're trying to tell somebody to stop it and they don't want to listen to you. But Aquarius, you love this person, but I think somebody don't want to listen to you or take your advice. Um, yeah, something like that. Aquarius, say like for an example. Aquarius, I'm giving this for an example. Aquarius, say like in the past, you used to be like a prostitute. And Aquarius, you subject yourself because you were dying to belong. You subjected yourself to STDs. If it wasn't one thing, it was another. And it's like Aquarius, you could be trying to tell your daughter, don't go down the same path I went through. Aquarius, your daughter could be telling you she got symptoms, she got a headache, she discharging, she this, she that. And Aquarius, you trying to tell your daughter... That's because you run in the streets, you with those men, you having sex, you doing this, you doing that. And Aquarius, your daughter might tell you, oh, mommy, you can't tell me nothing. Because I remember in the past when you was raising me, you had men running in and out the house. You this, you that. Something like that going on, Aquarius. But Aquarius, you're not in this energy no more. You're not in this energy no more. And somebody don't want to believe you. Or they're offended by you or they don't believe you. 
So it's like Aquarius, the Knight of Pentacles is separating you from this five of wands. Because somebody, <laughs> Aquarius, whatever's going on with this person, Aquarius, I think you've been there and done that. So this is like somebody's sick, got health conditions. Somebody got low self-esteem. Somebody running the streets. Or something somebody doing. And Aquarius, you've been there and done that. And you trying to tell this person to stop. And they don't want to listen to you. Oh. Clarify the five of wands. You the high priestess. So the high priestess is um, Pisces, I think, or Cancer. So, Aquarius, you can have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. Are you dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer? Somebody could be the other woman. Or, Aquarius, you telling somebody to leave that dark magic alone. Aquarius, I don't know if in the past you used to do dark magic. Or death rituals or something like that. The high priestess could be an occultist or something. And, Aquarius, you telling somebody to stop. Stop doing something and they don't want to believe you. Or this person is telling you, Aquarius, you can't say nothing to me. Because you used to do it. You used to do it, Aquarius. Or something like that. Or Aquarius, you had a bad temper in the past. And Aquarius, somebody telling you that you can't tell them nothing because you used to be like that. Or somebody thinks you're trying to judge them. Aquarius, you're not trying to judge this person. You're trying to help them because you used to be in their shoes. Or something like that. I'm hearing, Aquarius, that you love this person. You got love for this person. <laughs> Aquarius, I'm hearing this person is a part of you. So, Aquarius, I don't know if this is your child, your adult child, your lover, your ex-lover, your child's mother, your child's father. Aquarius, I don't know who this hard-headed person is. Or this young-minded person. But it's like Aquarius... If you hurt, they hurt. But it's like Aquarius, at the same time, you still got to move on with your life. Aquarius, this person not taking your advice, it bothers you. It rubs you the wrong way. When this person don't take your advice, it stifles you because this person is a part of you, Aquarius. But you still have to find a way, Aquarius, to move on without this person. So, Aquarius, this could be your twin. Or this is your child or something. Or your adult child. Because it's like Aquarius. Either the Knight of Pentacles is here. It's like... Aquarius, the Knight of Pentacles could be causing you healing. By separating you from somebody that's young-minded or they're hard-headed. Or Aquarius, I also see in the cards, Aquarius, because the Knight of Pentacles is here, something is bittersweet. The Knight of Pentacles could also, it's like stifling you a little bit, Aquarius, too. Something is stifling you. So you can't really be who you are, Aquarius, because something is going on. But you still got, you could, it's like Aquarius. If you can't be the star, you're going to at least be the queen of cups. That's what I see in the cards, too. Because <laughs> somebody getting you out of character, Aquarius. Somebody is just... It's like, Aquarius, you can't sleep at night. You're bothered. You're altered. Because somebody you love or somebody you care about, Aquarius, is not listening to you. So it's like, even if you can't be yourself, Aquarius, you can be the queen of cups. Yeah, so this could be your child or something, Aquarius. You're bothered, but you keeping your cool, Aquarius. Or you want to heal this person, but they don't want healing. So it's like, Aquarius, you can't be you because you just want to heal this person. You want to mentor this person. You want to take them under your wing, but they don't want your advice. So it's like, Aquarius, you got to love this person from a distance. Yeah, because they won't let you be you. They won't let you love them. Yeah. So, Aquarius, you might have to do something alone. Aquarius, don't let this person try to convince you that you fake and phony. 
because you changed, because you matured, you ascended, you became a better person. Of course, don't let this person convince you you fake and phony because you actually did your shadow work and they didn't. Yeah, don't let somebody convince you, Aquarius, you fake and you phony. Or something this person is saying to you and it's not true. You just changed. What's the issue going on out here? So, Aquarius, you have to do something without somebody that you really love. But what I see in the cards, and I just heard it too. Aquarius, because you're being separated from somebody... You're now actually realizing, Aquarius, what you're capable of. You now realize, Aquarius, that you actually love this person. And it wasn't all about fame and fortune, the star. It wasn't all about popularity. Aquarius, you could be tapping into your emotions and you realize that you truly love this person. Because of the separation. So I'm picking up, Aquarius, the good and the bad is working out together in your favor. Or Aquarius, if you a female, you're you're separating from your lover. And it's like Aquarius, you thought it was you. You thought you could not bear children. You thought you was bearing. And it's like Aquarius. You gonna find out it wasn't you, it's your lover. Because you could be pregnant. The Queen of Cups is not pregnant. So Aquarius, something like that going on too. Or well, Aquarius, you're going to meet a lover who's willing to get you pregnant. Aquarius, I don't know if you're sick or you in a wheelchair. And your ex didn't want to have kids by you because you're in a wheelchair or you have health issues or something. But Aquarius, you're either in a new relationship now or you're going to meet somebody who's going to take you and accept you for who you are. Whether you have health conditions or not. Aquarius, you might end up pregnant. So your overall energy is to stay focused and to trust in your new path. So your new path could be with a different person, a new lover, or Aquarius, you doing something alone. And you're going to realize something. Aquarius, somebody could have been calling, causing you, calling you vain or shallow. But Aquarius, you not vain or shallow. You just really, you love this person. You the queen of God. <laughs> but what's the issue going on out here? Yeah, grouchy. Yeah. Mad for no reason, never in the right mood. Yeah. Aquarius, you're going to have to separate yourself from somebody. Or just let the past go. Because that's the issue. Aquarius, I think that you're upset because somebody's always grouchy. Or Aquarius, because you're trying to teach this person something or you're trying to love on this person, they're misunderstanding your love as you being grouchy. Because you, you don't want to put up with their foolishness, Aquarius. So somebody perceives you as being grouchy. Or Aquarius, you're going to leave this grouchy person alone. You're going to leave them to their vices or something like that. Aquarius, this could even be your best friend or something. And Aquarius, you might try to go to your best friend and she might um, snap at you. Because your best friend mad, Aquarius, because she's not married. She's the other woman. And Aquarius, you could be married and your best friend is not. So Aquarius, you and your best friend might go y'all separate ways. Or y'all did in the past. Aquarius, I don't know if your best friend might tell you, oh, you ain't better than me. You think just because you married and I'm still out here running these streets, you think you ain't better than me? Or uh, something like that, Aquarius, your best friend might say to you. Or uh, something. Or oh, Aquarius, somebody is sick because they were sleeping around. They was the high priestess. And Aquarius, you trying to tell this person, you so-and-so got you sick. You sick, that man gave you an STD or something. And Aquarius, your best friend might get mad at you. She don't want to hear the truth. Somebody don't want to hear the truth. 
Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that going on. Yeah, we got a false twin flame. So Aquarius, you could be separating from your false twin. Or Aquarius, one of your loved ones is interacting with a false twin. And they could be taking their anger out on you. Or Aquarius, your false twin is taking their anger out on you. What's this spell with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups? Oh, Chris, I just heard that you can't be yourself around this person. You can't be you around this person. That's why spirit cut, causing a breakup or a separation. Because you can't be you. You can't be the star because of this person. Or something. What's the spill with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups? All right, we got a groupie. Yep. A groupie can't be alone, always has to partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it. In ninth house, this situation involves someone's belief systems, religion, and ideologies, higher learning, travel philosophy. So let me see something because this groupie is this uh Aquarius? I think it is. Oh. Aquarius, I don't know if somebody could be mad at you because they want you to get back in the game with them. Aquarius, I don't know what you and this person used to do together. I don't know if y'all used to prostitute, if y'all was groupies. I don't know what you and this person was doing. But Aquarius, you could be telling somebody it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So it's like Aquarius, I'm picking up. You could be still in the game, but you mature. And you trying to tell somebody else, we not doing that like that. We not 15 to 16 years old no more. We can be groupies, but we not acting five of wands. I'm not doing five of wands. I'm going to be the queen of wands. Whether I'm a groupie or not, I'm going to be the queen of wands. So it's like, Sagittarius, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Because it's like, whatever this groupy energy is, it's like, it, this is somebody's belief system. This is somebody's religion. Or it's like, Sagittarius, you experience some higher learning because of being a groupie. Or you, you handle being a groupie a certain type of way, some type of philosophy you have or something, Aquarius. So this is just something like, if I'm going to be a hoe, I'm going to be a good one. Or something, something like that, Aquarius. I don't know exactly what this is, what's going on. So this could be like the Players Club. This is like the Players Club. I can't remember those girls' names. But it was the light-skinned one and it was the dark-skinned one. The dark-skinned one was a little bit more loose or more trampy. The light-skinned one had more class or more control than the dark-skinned one. So it could be something like that going on. It's like both of y'all work at the nightclub, but it's like Aquarius, you don't let these men come home with you. The five of wands do. And you telling this woman to stop. Yeah, or something like that, Aquarius. Or Aquarius, you was trying to tell your friend, if you're going to sleep with these men, use a condom. That's the least you can do, use a condom. Or something like that, Aquarius. Let me see. This groupie, is this Aquarius? I think it is, though. Now it's telling me no. <coughs> or Aquarius, this person did, just got you reminiscing. Aquarius, somebody might cuss you out and remind you of your past. 
And it's like Aquarius, you gonna you gonna start reminiscing about when you was a groupie, and when that was a part of your belief system, your philosophy, maybe even your religion. This could happen some pimp and whole stuff. Yeah, Aquarius, somebody gonna make you feel bad about your past. Yeah, something like that. What's what's the spell with the Knight of Pentacles and the Star? Yeah, acting a fool, witchcraft. Yeah. Yep. Aquarius, your family or whoever this person is, y'all could be into the occult. But Aquarius, you could have put behind you doing dark magic or doing death rituals. Or doing come to me spells or sex magic on these men or something. Aquarius, I don't know if in the past you was doing like sex magic on these men. And something could have got out of control, Aquarius, and you could have got shot or something because of your spell work backfiring, your witchcraft. It's like, Aquarius, you're still into the occult. You just don't do death rituals no more. Or you don't do sex magic on these men no more or something like that. Somebody was acting a fool with some witchcraft. Yeah. Mm. Or Aquarius, in the past, you was doing spell work over like your friend group. Because you was dying to belong and you regret it. But spirit probably like wants you to let go of that regret. I don't know how long ago that was. But Aquarius, you could have been doing um spell work over your friend group and it could have backfired. Somebody was acting a fool with some witchcraft. Mm. Or Aquarius, spirit is separating you from somebody that's acting a fool with witchcraft. And that's probably why this person is sick and they're the other woman. Or something like that. Somebody acting a fool and they're using magic to get their way. Aquarius, somebody is doing this and you telling this person to stop. Or Aquarius, you was doing this in the past. And I think spirit wants you to like forgive yourself or something. Yeah, somebody was using magic to get their way. Or Aquarius, you might be tempted to do like some dark magic the first half of uh, July and spirit not going to not going to let you. You could be trying to do this witchcraft, Aquarius. And spirit not going to let you. Yeah, I see that too now. Yeah. What's the spill with the five of wands and the high priestess? Yeah, spirituality hater. Yeah. So, Aquarius, you're either the spirituality hater and spirit is going to have mercy on you, Aquarius, and not let you do this. So, Aquarius, I don't know if you was do, planning on doing dark magic against somebody else and spirit, like, going to stop you in your tracks, Aquarius. Because spirit don't want you to have this karma. He don't want you to get this karma. Or, Aquarius, this person that you got love for, this person is a karmic. Or Aquarius, you a karmic. Yeah, Aquarius, I think this could be you in a nutshell. Oh, Aquarius, that could be you. You fighting with yourself. That's what this is. So it's not another person. Aquarius, you're fighting with yourself. And spirit is going to help you make up your mind. So it's like Aquarius, you could have went through some type of transformation and you was tempted to go back to being a karmic, to being jealous, doing dark magic on your competition. Oh, I see. So Aquarius, you have your, I see it now. Aquarius, you're both energies that I was picking up during the pre-shuffle. So it's like Aquarius, you are that child, yeah, that childlike energy. You're that person 
And it's like Aquarius, you wanted to sabotage yourself again. And spirit not going to let you. So it's like Aquarius, you was going to do something the first half of July. And spirit not going to let you. So you're going to have to stay in that childlike energy, that earth angel energy. Oh, Aquarius, I see. Yeah, Aquarius. Aquarius, you want to revenge on somebody. Or you wanted some fame and fortune. Or you wanted somebody, some like a lover. You wanted a particular woman or a particular man. And Aquarius, you was willing to do witchcraft to get it. And spirit going to put an ending to it. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay. So Aquarius, this is you. You're grouchy. Or oh, Aquarius, this person that you wanted to do witchcraft, witchcraft on... When you approach this person, Aquarius, they're going to be grouchy and it might scare you. And you're going to go in reverse. So you're not, okay, I see what's going on. So Aquarius, you, you have an internal conflict and you're going to leave it alone. And you're going to choose to, 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 to allow something to happen, happen naturally and to trust spirit without you doing dark magic on somebody, Aquarius. So you're focusing on a new path. And Aquarius, the new path that spirit put you on is to do things without dark magic or death rituals. That's what this is. And Aquarius, the first half of July, you was tempted to go back to the old you and do some witchcraft or some death ritual or something to get your way. So Aquarius, the cards could be telling me, I see in the cards now, that the Knight of Pentacles is going to show up, Aquarius. Because you were doing something for like fame and fortune. But the Knight of Pentacles is going to make you love. Like show love. Yeah, the Queen of Cups love. The Queen of Cups is like authentic. Like an empath. So Aquarius, I don't know if you was tempted to finesse somebody. Or to flatter someone to implement your witchcraft. But it's not going to work because somebody going to be grouchy towards you. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, I see it. So you're okay, yeah, Aquarius. So Aquarius, say like you is a groupie. What you what you used to do, Aquarius, to get these men and their money, you used to do witchcraft, Aquarius. But Aquarius, spirit is telling you, Aquarius, you could be a groupie if you want to. But you gotta start, you gotta stop that death magic or them, them dark rituals you be doing, Aquarius. Because spirit don't want you to get karma, Aquarius. Because you ascended, Aquarius, but you're tempted to go backwards. That's what this is. So, Aquarius, you a divine feminine. Or a divine masculine. And you was tempted to do something for, like, attention or money or something. But it's not going to work. The Knight of Pentacles going to show up. Aquarius, you going to get blocked. So spirit is doing you a favor, Aquarius, because you was going to get karma for this. Aquarius, I don't know if this was a death ritual you was doing. You wanted to put down the competition, and it was going to be evidence against you, Aquarius. You was not going to get away with this. So that's what spirit going to do. Spirit going to step in Aquarius and keep you from getting karma. Let me see. Show me what would have been Aquarius' um, karma for doing this. Whatever this, what, what, what would have been Aquarius' karma? Evidence, it came back out, yeah. Aquarius, whatever you used to do in the past, you didn't get caught and you used to go unnoticed. But Aquarius, if you would have, if spirit would have allowed you to do this the first half of July, you would have got caught. You would have got caught. Aquarius, I saw... Aquarius, you already went through 5D karma. You already went, went to jail on a 5D and you got your karma. You went through your dark night of the soul, Aquarius. And you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. So Aquarius, you was planning on doing something the first half of July. And Aquarius, you was going to end up in 3D jail. That's what spirit was going to let happen. That's what this is. That's what spirit was going to let happen. Aquarius, you was going to jail on a 3D. Mm-hmm. Show me some more. Um, What was supposed to be Aquarius karma? 
Yeah, Aquarius. Somebody was going to finesse you. Whatever spirit was going to let you get. Karma, Aquarius. Yeah, because you finessed somebody in the past. And if you would have tried to finesse somebody the first half of July, Aquarius, spirit was going to let somebody finesse you. Oh, this, you was going to get it good too, Aquarius. You was getting karma. You was going to get it right back. I heard you. It was going to come right back to you, Aquarius. Show me one more card. What, what karma Aquarius was going to get if the Knight of Pentacles didn't show up. <coughs> One-sided love. So, Aquarius, you was going to get one-sided love. Aquarius, I don't know if you thought you was going to be able to um, finesse this man out of money and this man was going to end up finessing you out of money daydreaming of you yeah Aquarius if you a woman this lover that you was trying to finesse Aquarius this lover was a karmic and he's crazy and he was going to be your karma and Aquarius you thought you was going to get money and finesse this man he was going to get money from you and finesse you and then he would have kept stalking you, Aquarius. Something this man was... Spirit was going to allow someone to, like, give you karma. But you was going to end up in jail, though, Aquarius. It's like, yeah, Aquarius, yeah. So, Aquarius, say, like, for example, you a stripper or you prostitute. This is like, Aquarius, you get in this man's car. Spirit telling you, stay away from prostitution, Aquarius. The first half of July, Aquarius, you tempted the prostitute. You was going to get in this man's car, Aquarius. Do what you had to do with this man. He was not going to pay you your money. And Aquarius, this man was going to try to do harm to you. And you would have got the upper hand, Aquarius, and did harm to this man. And you would have ended up in jail. That's what was going to happen to you, Aquarius. So this could be something to do with, like, being a pimp or a prostitute. Aquarius, if you were a man, you used to be a pimp in the past. Aquarius, if you were a female, you probably used to be a stripper or you prostituted in the past. And you was probably trying to go back to that lifestyle the first half of July. And spirit not going to let you. Or it's like, Aquarius, even if you still participate in that type of lifestyle, be careful on how, what you do to people. It's like, Aquarius, you can be this, you can be that, but you don't got to be finessing people and lying to people and ripping people off their money. Or something like that, Spirit telling you. Or something. Yeah. Aquarius, I don't know if you was trying to do some spell work to get, a, get somebody else man or cause a divorce or a separation. And it's like, Aquarius, if you would have did this witchcraft, this man, when you got in a relationship with him, it would have been one-sided. That would have been crazy. It's like this man didn't love you, but he was going to be stalking you. That's crazy to have a man that don't love you to stalk you. That would have been, Aquarius, you would have been in a crazy situation. If you would have did like a, a some witchcraft to cause a breakup because you wanted somebody, girlfriend or boyfriend or something yeah, so something like that going on. So Aquarius Spirit is keeping you from acting a fool and doing witchcraft and being a spiritual hater. Yeah. Damn, Aquarius. What done got you started? What triggered you? <laughs> something triggered you. Let's see. What Aquarius, uh, what trigger Aquarius to like tempt to do this? What was the trigger? A earth angel. A earth angel triggered you, Aquarius? Hmm. Or Aquarius, you're tired of being an earth angel? You tired of being the good guy? So you probably wanted to go back to being a karmic and doing death magic or dark magic to get your way? You could be tired of being the good guy. Or being a good girl. Or Aquarius, an earth angel triggered you to like. Something an earth angel did. Tell me more about this earth angel. Aquarius, you could have wanted to compete with someone. 
You could be jealous of this person a little bit, Aquarius. And you wanted to get one up over them by any means necessary because you don't like this. It's like, Aquarius, you are Earth Angel, but it's another Earth Angel. You do not like this person. And you was willing to do dark magic to get one up over this person. Tell me more about this Earth Angel. The 12th house. Hidden truth, secrets, dreams. One has hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. Yeah, Aquarius, I think an Earth Angel might give you a little bit of karma the first half of July. And Aquarius, you want to revenge. That's what this is. You want to revenge. Aquarius, I don't know if this Earth Angel might say something to you about your past. And this Earth Angel really don't know what they talking about. Uh, something like that, Aquarius. Or Aquarius, an Earth Angel could have exposed you or something. And Aquarius, you didn't like that. So you wanted some type of revenge, but the Knight of Pentacles don't show up. Because Aquarius, you wanted to act the fool, and you was going to do some dark magic on somebody. Yeah. <clears throat> So let me end it. So Aquarius, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Um, oh, Aquarius. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Aquarius, yeah. Yeah, Aquarius, you're going to have to mature a little bit more, though. Yeah. That's what it is, Aquarius. Yeah. Aquarius, because the star could be very um the star gets a lot of attention. And Aquarius, I don't know if the first half of July somebody might outshine you and you didn't like that. And spirit is telling you to love Aquarius, show love. Or something like that. Yeah, it's like Aquarius, spirit is teaching you trust in your new path, all will work out for you. Whether you're getting the, whether you're getting on um, recognition or not, something is still going to work out for you, Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, Aquarius. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna end it because I ain't gonna dig too much deep in this, Aquarius. But like I said, something triggered you, Aquarius, and it was an Earth angel. Or well, Aquarius, you tired of being an earth angel. Whew. Yeah, something like that. So. Or well, Aquarius, I don't know if you might find out that an earth angel is sleeping with your lover. Or your ex or something. And Aquarius, you was going to do like some death magic or some type of witchcraft on like the third party. This earth angel could be a third party of uh, Aquarius. And this earth angel could be sleeping around with your ex or your loved one, maybe even your child or something. Aquarius, I don't know if you wanted to kill your child's lover. The <laughs> spirit is telling you, Aquarius, do not do that. Uh, some This party interference, third party interference, this could be another lover, friend, or meddling family. Or Aquarius, you feel as though somebody trying to take your friend from you or something? So you was going to use some witchcraft, Aquarius, to get somebody out the picture. And um, Aquarius, Spirit was telling you, Aquarius, if you do it, you get an immediate karma if you do it. Yeah. 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 So the Knight of Pentacles is going to show up, Aquarius. To keep you from acting a fool and doing some witchcraft on somebody. Use a magic to get your way, Aquarius. <clears throat> or, I also heard two Aquarius. You're going to have to numb something down. You're going to have to numb something down. Aquarius, it depends. 
Spirit, I heard spirit say Aquarius. It depends on what, on um, your degree of karma. What type of karma do you want? If you don't want no karma, Aquarius, spirit is saying leave this person alone. But if you don't, it depends on what you do to this person, Aquarius. That's how much karma you're going to get. So Aquarius, say like you was going to do a death ritual on this person, but spirit rebuke you. And instead of you doing a death ritual on this person, Aquarius, you like, do like some projecting or something to this person. You just project. You call this person up, you play a little mind game with it, whatever. Aquarius, you still won't get even karma for that, but it's going to be in the degree that you give it. So if you project on this person because you can't help it, somebody's going to project onto you. But if you was to do a death ritual on this person, Aquarius, you're going to get that death ritual right back. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, Aquarius, and then we got Mary. Oh, Lord, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, I don't know if you married or Aquarius, somebody else married, and you wanted this person's husband or wife <laughs> or something. <laughs> or Aquarius, you, something. But let me end it. So, Aquarius, enjoy the month of July, and thank you.